Hi, it's Anna with Traffic Generation Cafe here. I've got a quick video for you today to address a question that I get asked a lot. What is the easiest way to start optimizing a blog for search engines or just to improve search engine optimization for that matter? Let's talk about search engine optimization in general first. As you may already know, SEO can be broken down into two areas on-page and off-page optimization. Off-page optimization mainly comes down to how many links point to your blog from other sites and how much authority those links carry to your blog. On-page optimization is everything you do within your blog itself to appear to the search engines as relevant as possible for your chosen keywords. Things like title and description tags. Now, when I first started Traffic Generation Cafe, I knew absolutely nothing about SEO and even less about integrating it into my blog. So I bought Thesis. Thesis is a premium WordPress theme, which is basically a fancy way of saying um, it's an out of the box theme that allows you to customize it in any way you'd like. It also happens to be one of the best search engine optimized themes on the market right now. Let me show you what I mean. When I Google Traffic Generation Cafe, this is what comes up in the search engine results. Let's take a look at this. This is what is called my title tag. And this is called my description tag. You want to be in full control of both. You want to make sure that first of all, you use your keywords for both, but second of all, that it's appealing enough for the potential search engine traffic to actually click through from the search engine results to your blog. Let me show you how easy it is to set both of them in thesis theme. Here we are. We are under thesis site options. And if I go under home page SEO, this is where I find both elements. Here's my title tag and here's my description tag. Uh, both of them should contain, as I already mentioned, your main keywords, uh, preferably closer to the beginning of, um, of each. Now, remember, you the rule of thumb is that you write your title tag for the search engines and you write your description tag for the search engine visitors. Now, there's also meta keywords here, which most SEO believe that are not very important anymore. First of all, because your competitors can easily scrape your, your keywords that you're trying to optimize for, but also because it's so easy to spam um, to spam this. So um, the general agreement is that um, it doesn't really matter to your SEO, but you can still add maybe two, three um, keywords at most here. So that's what that's where you set your homepage SEO. And another thing, make sure that your title tag is under 70 characters and your description tag is under 150 characters. Now, let me uh, let's take a look at other on page elements that you can take care of with your thesis theme that are very important for your SEO. Canonical URLs right here. Make sure that this um, little box is checked. What this will do is prevent your, your WordPress um, site, which is really notorious for creating duplicate content. This will prevent the duplicate content from affecting your site in the search engines. Also, here you can add all sorts of scripts like your Google Analytics, for instance. It's very, very easy to do. You can also verify your site uh, with um, Google Webmaster Tools here as well. Now, the good thing about this is the fact that you can add those scripts to the footer of your blog to the very bottom of the blog. And what that does is that it increases your site speed because instead of loading all the scripts that really don't need to be loaded right away on your blog, instead of loading them first, thus slowing down your website, your blog content 
would load first and then thesis would load those script, uh, scripts in the background so that they do not affect your user in um, user experience in any way but yet they will speed up um, your site which is as you know probably uh, speed is quickly becoming one of very important search engine ranking factors and something that we really do need to pay attention to so all these things as you can say are very easy to set with thesis with just a few clicks. Of course, your optimization doesn't end with your home page. You need to optimize each and every page or blog post that you publish on your blog. Um, and let me give you some examples here. So these are just some of the posts that you can find on my blog. And uh, the reason why I want to show you these two examples is because the top one, Google's breakthrough into pizza market post, is not in any way optimized for the search engines. I just wrote that post because it was, it was a lot of fun. That's all. Um, and remember that not every post is meant to rank in Google for something. Now the next post, the next page, is meant to, uh, to be optimized for the search engines and is ranking on search engines for my chosen keywords. Now here's the difference. This is the page title for the post that was not optimized. Um, basically what Google did here is it used my post title itself as the post title that it is showing in the search engines. This one is actually optimized, which means that it is using my um, keywords once again. Now, this is not the actual title for the post, though, because if you take a look at the post, the actual title is 202 bite size tips to inc insanely increase your blog traffic. So, description, same difference. Here, Google just pulled out the very beginning of my post and you can see that it's in no way optimized um, you know if I were to see this in the search engines I probably wouldn't click through to the website because it doesn't entice me in any way it doesn't tell me what the blog post is about this one however tells me exactly what the blog post is about and if I'm indeed looking for ways to increase blog traffic I would probably uh, click on that to see what this post is all about. Now let me show you how this is done in thesis. This is one of the posts that I just wrote for my blog. As you can tell it's called blog structure higher Google rankings with what you have. Now this is the blog post that my readers will see on my blog yet when somebody searches for it in the search engines what they will see for the title is this blog structure how to structure blog as you can see all I did is just went below my blog and here you can find a section of thesis that is called SEO details and here is where you add your title tag it tells you exactly how many characters it is right now it should be um, a maximum of 70 characters. Once again, it shows you right here, just in case you forget. Meta description, same thing. It contains my keywords and it gives, uh, it, it's a brief description of what my post is about. And what I hope to do here is to give the search engines um, users just enough information about the blog post uh, to get them to click through to my blog. Once again, it's 134 characters, which is below the 150 recommended characters for this section. Uh, once again, if you choose to, you can add your, um, your meta keywords here. And right here, just below, you can also choose um, the robots meta tags. If you choose to no index, no follow, or no archive this page. Of course, um, since I'm hoping that this page will rank for something on Google, I do not want to choose any of those things. So that's how easy it is to um, set your title tags and description tags for each and every one of your blog posts with thesis. Now that you know how important it is to use proper title and description tags for your blog and how easy it is to set them in thesis, all is left to do is, uh, well, do it. 
Can you do all these things without Thesis? Sure you can, through default WordPress and a few plugins. But I simply don't see a reason why you would want to though. I'd rather use my time focusing on things that have direct impact on how successful my blog is and let Thesis take care of the background work. This is Anna with Traffic Generation Cafe and I'll see you next time.